Great. Thanks, everybody. Uh, so today, I'm going to be showing a few different chatbots that we've been developing, uh, mainly from China. So uh, WeChat is something a lot of people hear about, but what I'm going to do today is try and show a little bit of the, the stuff that's below the waterline. Uh, the stuff that's kind of invisible. So a little bit about us, my company, Rikai Labs, we have offices in San Francisco and Shanghai, and we're building B2C products, like a, a learning English application with chatbot teachers, and also B2B apps, and we have an authoring platform, um, and a nice little company. Um, so if anyone's been living under a rock, uh, WeChat is kind of China's um, un uncontested operating system for just about everything. Uh, there's 700 million monthly actives. Everyone logs in every day. Like So much uh, money goes through the system. People use WeChat for paying restaurant bills, uh, you know, giving money to friends. Basically, it's, um, it's the one system that is central to everything. Um, so today I'm going to show a couple of uh, WeChat bots, and then I'm going to break down the individual features that we were using, and then below that I'm actually going to run into a whole bunch of APIs. So we may run out of time, but I'll actually be putting this uh, deck up online for people to review afterwards. Um, so the first thing I want to show is... Um, this is a demo. Oops. Is... Uh, a demonstration of one of our internal apps, which is called Micro English. Uh, micro, actually, Weixin, uh, WeChat in Chinese, the way is, um, means micro, so it's micro chat. Um, and so this application allows you to learn English by talking to chatbot teachers. So I'm going to just check we have audio and let a little video run. This is a demo of Micro English, which is our amazing app that allows you to learn English over WeChat. So when you come in, you can choose a teacher. You can use the WeChat wallet to pay instantly over WeChat. And uh, here, here you are with your teacher. You've picked Edan. So first of all, we have like a little conversation. And you can type uh, different replies. The conversation is actually automated by the chatbot at the beginning here. So uh, the first lesson we're going to see is about San Francisco. So we have a little content card that shows the different types of uh, things in the lesson. We have like a little mini quiz. Uh, you can jump in, you can get a certificate, and if you want, you can share that certificate to your moments. And uh, as we progress inside the lesson, um, you can actually hear there are audio clips. Uh, you can't actually hear WeChat here, but there's audio clips playing there, as well as kind of freeform input. Um, and additionally, uh, when the user is talking, we can have a real teacher in the background. So here we have the teacher asking a question, like, what can I do in San Francisco? The user says, you go Alcatraz. Now, that is a mistake. So the teacher will correct it to, you should go to Alcatraz. And now we can actually train the bot. So that next time someone makes a similar mistake, the bot will actually answer on their behalf without the teacher's involvement. At the end of the lesson, you get a report card uh, that gives the feeling uh, of progress, and then you can, again, you can share that <clears throat> on your WeChat moments, and it has a QR code built in, so that acts as a kind of uh, marketing viral loop for us. So that was a little bit of a, a quick animation, but in fact, uh, the video is up on our rickeye.co. Um, so I just want to talk about some of the features that are in there. So one of the things that we're using is QR codes. So when we actually did the MVP for this product, what we did was we created uh, a number of groups. So WeChat doesn't allow bots in groups, just like Facebook, but you can actually share a QR code to your bot inside a group, and you can share a QR code to your group from the bot. So we are able to, to create this kind of linkage between the multi-user kind of chat room group environment and the actual uh, bot itself. Um, within the bot, so then people come in, chat to our bot, have the lesson. And then we used uh, Hongbao, or red envelopes, to actually um, allow the user to pay us actually inside the chat afterwards. Um, so basically, it's this kind of seamless blend of like a, a live event that was really valuable. So we gathered everyone together in the chat room at the same time, got them to compete, and then come back into the chat group afterwards and talk about the lesson. Uh, some of the other things that we use are social sharing and games. I mean, my background is doing social mobile games. Um, so WeChat allows you to have a menu. Uh, if you see this image on the left here, so we use this kind of 
hack of uh, using emoji on the menu to allow people to have the equivalent of quick replies, because there's no quick reply feature. Um, we were then giving them these certificates, and those certificates of like how well you did, you can share on your moments. So the moments is kind of like the Facebook news feed. So you can kind of think of WeChat as like a combination of like Facebook Messenger with like Facebook Lite, uh, having some of those features like news feeds. Um, and then, so this is a really good way of obviously acquiring new users. Another thing that WeChat is uh, very critical about is um, content marketing. It's not really a channel where you do aggressive user acquisition with ads or things like that, but if you create really good content, then people will share it and you can, you know, you can go viral very quickly on the network. So all of our lessons start with a kind of a mini blog article. Uh, then people come in and talk to the teacher bot. Uh, as they're talking to the teacher, we're adding more and more content articles. So they go into a content article database. We use those content articles for new daily posts. And the daily posts then come back and become the articles. So again, we're creating like a, a, a marketing loop uh, with content marketing articles. Um, and that's another kind of critical uh, factor for making a successful WeChat service. So I guess what I want to emphasize is that it's not just about textual chatbots. These are like chat applications. So I've shown you within the chat, you can have audio and video and different characters talking to you. You can have these mini articles, like these content cards, a little bit like Facebook carousels. Um, WeChat has an embedded HTML5 browser, so you can jump out and do quizzes and mini games. Um, it has a moments, like a news feed, like, uh, like Facebook. So basically, people can share uh, links to things. And of course, it has embedded payments. So you can use those payments for either peer-to-peer -peer or for, in our case, accepting payment uh, within the application for content inside the browser, inside chat, or physically with QR codes. Um, so the next thing I actually just want to show briefly is um, this is a lot of stuff to build. Um, we've actually ended up, I have a lot of uh, writers and non-technical people actually authoring our um, WeChat bots. And we've been through a few kind of iterations um, to get the Thanks best for system watching. for that. Um, and what we actually have uh, built now is our so own is um, bot our authoring app. platform. Okay, so let me just show you how that works. Can we have audio? So here I'm editing a little story, and the bot, bit of, the bot builder is template-based. So here we are, we have uh, different kind of fields that you can fill in. Um, so I'm looking at the story over here, and there's kind of a, a node for cake, and there's this kind of orphaned uh, Blackberries node. So what I'm going to do is create a link between those. So if I go to the, the cake node, um, and actually I can say, uh, basically select this little link, add in a link, um, and when I save that, um, the, the link now will appear between the cake and the Blackberries node, so that's kind of part of the story now. Um, and then I could uh, test that um, over here, just chat to the bot. Um, when we come into this topic, it's going to be showing you that's a nice cake, what else? Um, and I can use these quick replies of numbers to say, you know, navigate to the Blackberries, and it will talk to me about uh, Blackberries. Um, but beyond that, the actual code that's generated uh, can be viewed. Uh, so you could go in and actually edit this scripting language um, that's sitting behind it. Um, the templates themselves can all be edited, and there are different types of templates, like um, an FAQ template that has different types of fields. Um, when I was in there editing the um, uh, tartine thing, there's an FAQ, and so the FAQ template you can add like um, different ways of asking the same question, you can delete those nodes and link them in and everything. Um, we have a card editor and you can generate those cards, they're a little bit like Facebook cards, we've just done for WeChat, so uh, you, you can see the um, JSON that's uh, generated. We also have live chat support. So I could go in and actually talk to the um, user uh, directly from the chat dashboard. Um, that would put the bot on pause. Um, and so now here I am with the user um, talking back to the bot. Um, so the responses come back and forth in here. Um, and you can actually also uh, send different media um, into the uh, chat. 
So I click and um, send, you know, one of these photos um, right into the user during during the chat. Um, we also have um, other types of uh, formats that are available. Um, we have full kind of you know user profiles and everything is available in here. Um, we have the built-in CMS for managing all the different media. So uh, I, I hope you get the idea. But basically, there's a fully functional uh, dashboard here. One of the reasons I'm showing this is actually because we're looking for uh, development partners, collaborators. Um, we're not really in the business of providing a platform. We build bots for WeChat. Um, but it would be great to work with some other people, because I'm sure everybody else in this room is thinking of building uh, a very similar system. So if you'd like to uh, cooperate with us on the development of this, um, by all means, just uh, send me a message, and let's uh, try and not duplicate each other's work. So let's go back a little bit into uh, how to actually launch a, a, a bot on WeChat if you wanted to launch your own bot. So one of the first things you have to do is get what's called an official account. Um, and it's a little bit of a process. You need like a Chinese company if you want to distribute content in China. Um, but th and there are like three or four different types of official accounts. Once you've got your official account set up, you get access to all of the uh, WeChat APIs. So a bot can receive text, audio, images, and it can send back, of course, text messages, content cards. Um, you can send video, and you can send these kind of formatted news articles. Uh, currently, you can't send stickers, and you can't send these site short videos, um, and a bot actually can't join a group. Um, but as I showed you, there are various ways around some of those limitations. Um, WeChat also has a whole natural language processing slash uh, recognition API. So if a user speaks to the bot, uh, they'll deliver that to you as actual text. So it makes your life a lot easier. Uh, unfortunately, only for Chinese, but that's, that's good enough for most of the apps you're going to be launching in China. Um, some of the other things, uh, it may be worth pointing out that WeChat is not as smooth a development experience as Facebook or Slack. Um, for example, if you want to send an image, uh, you need to get an API token, switch the API token, get a media API, use two different tokens to then send that image together. You can't share the token between your development environment and your um, production environment. Only one token can be live at, at a time. And there's just basically a lot of hoops you actually have to get, go through if you want to put content onto WeChat. But you know, 700 million users, all of them have a wallet. People will jump through hoops to get there. Um, so I'm just going to briefly run through some of the other APIs and features that are available. Um, and we may run out of time, so I'll just go a little bit quickly. But as I mentioned, I'll make the deck available afterwards. Um, WeChat allows you to provide custom menus. So you can uh, you know, enable these little pop-up menus. You can use those for not just um, sending messages to your bot, but also other features are available, like opening the camera, or sending your location, or sending a QR code. Um, you can publish these content cards. The content cards can include links, obviously, and images, um, and also messages to your bot. One thing you can do with a bot is you can actually tag users. You can put them into different groups, and then you can use those groups for showing different cards to different users. And WeChat is kind of a marketing engine. So this, these methods for publishing content to you know, different segments of users, a lot of that is available through the platform. As I, obviously, there's the WeChat wallet that allows you to have payments. Um, and I guess unlike uh, over here, you can actually use this WeChat wallet for both e-commerce and for digital goods. Um, they have a full browser, which has a JavaScript SDK. And with the JavaScript SDK, it's a little bit like PhoneGap plugins. So you get access to things like payments, GPS location, um, uploading uh, images. Uh, camera API, recording voice, a lot of those kind of hardware extensions to the browser. Red envelopes are a fantastic thing for these P2P payments. And actually, with a red envelope, you can put it into a group, but you can say, I want to let all the people get a random amount of money. So a lot of times, we do this after like going out to dinner with a bunch of friends. Maybe dinner was 50 bucks between five people. We all throw a red envelope into the group, but you never know if you're going to get like 20 bucks or a dollar. So it's kind of like gambling meets peer-to-peer -peer, peer -peer payment. Um, and it's a, it's a really fun mechanism. 
Uh, coupons, WeChat actually has built-in social sharing for coupons. So I can get a coupon, share it with my friends, and they provide um, a dashboard where you can actually track the kind of diffusion and distribution of those coupons. There's actually a, a live customer support thing where you can multiplex different accounts together to support your live chat accounts. And there's a lot of other weird APIs in there that we use in there. They have a survey tool if you want to do browser-based surveys. Um, QR codes are great for everything. QR codes can be time-stamped. A lot of people use QR codes for converting offline real-world users into digital users. Um, and there's a vibrant kind of third-party ecosystem, because a lot of the functions that are in the WeChat dashboard are kind of like minimum viable product, I think, the first-party stuff. But they make all the APIs available for third parties to do things like uh, shops or you know, delayed posts, like a buffer, or um, survey tools. A lot of those are also available for you if you want to compete. Tencent did actually announce a bot platform recently, although it's not actually for WeChat at, the, at this moment. But it has quick replies and a few other features like that. They also announced recently a small apps platform, which is kind of like a React.js slash uh, WAP um, uh, protocol for you to do these uh, embedded HTML light apps that are kind of downloaded and cached. Um, and then once you've got your bot, there's a whole lot of other stuff you have to do for user acquisition, which I'm not going to go into today. But one of the big channels is these kind of, we call KOLs, key opinion leaders, um, which are basically like um, Instagram mini celebrities that have, may have you know, hundreds of thousands of followers. And you can do tie-ups with them to share your QR code or drive people into your account. And there are a lot of marketplaces for actually monitoring who are the good KOLs or not. So I guess just as a summary, like I mentioned before, WeChat is this kind of combination of Facebook Messenger and a lot of Facebook features, but then a whole bunch of kind of new, uh, weird things that are specific to the local market. Um, and that's basically a good, o good quick overview of WeChat. And uh, by all means, drop me an email or follow me, DC San, on Twitter, and I'll make the deck available to people as well. Thank you very much. Give DC a hand.